And now I move on to exercise 4C of getting to know ArcGIS desktop updated for ArcGIS 9.3. Exercise 4C is located on page 75. If you don't already have Arc Catalog open, go ahead and uh, open it now. And exercise 4C will be using not only Arc Catalog but also Arc Map. So go ahead and go to your Chapter 4 data and uh, select Flight Diversions layer. You'll see that this is we would like to add this to a couple of uh, different uh, maps that we have. So go ahead and and launch Arc Map. You can launch Arc Map by clicking on this icon here. It'll just take a few seconds. And we'll be using an existing map, just like the previous times. And make sure you have Chapter 4 selected and use the example of Exercise 4C. Okay, this is the data that you've seen previously. Um, the, f the four layers of the cities you visited, the flight path, the countries, and the graticule, which is just the um, just the grid behind. But um, to this we want to add data that we found in our search, namely the flight diver divergence path. How you do this is actually very simple. You go back to our catalog, so you have our catalog on the left and our map on the right. You select flight divergence, you left click and you drag it to our catalog and you see immediately that layer has been added not only visually but also on the table of contents but um, flight diverge dot lyr is not a very very descriptive name so we can go ahead and change the name by right clicking going to properties and, and change the name to diverging flight paths. Go ahead and click OK. And as you see, the name has changed. Now, on your computer, this looks very nice, but eventually you might want to make a presentation or a map that you can show to people. You can do that uh, in by simply going to View menu, and instead of the Data view, go to the Layout view. So as you see, um, there are this has already been prepared for you, but the first map has been is shown here, which is the Amelia Earhart's last flight, and we want to add a second map, Area of Disappearance. Okay, now. How do you begin um, putting in a new map? Well, that's that's pretty simple. You go to the Insert menu and choose Data Frame. You immediately see a data frame here, which you can move to the correct position. You can also resize it if you want to make it bigger. Another thing you'll notice when you add the data frame is that a second layer apart from your, your first layer has been added. Okay, now you want to add layer because it's it's empty. You want to add data to this layer. There's nothing there yet. So uh, it's already been chosen for you what, uh, what to add. So go ahead and go back to our, our catalog and in catalog choose disappearance area. Uh, first you'll want to switch back to uh, excuse me, back to the data view. Actually you can do it in the in, in both views, but um, I think it's better to use the data view. So uh, just again drag and click disappearance area. But you want to add more than just that. You want to add a second layer and you'll find the second layer that you want to add under bathymetry and this is the seafloor data 
you actually want the layer. Let's go ahead and drag and click that also. Now uh, the color is of the land is blue. We'll be changing that. It's randomly chosen for everybody. So every time you do it, a different color will be chosen. Um, but we want to add one more layer, and that's the diverging flight path layer, which is already here. To do that, you simply select it, right-click copy, and here you just paste. And now you have the same layer in both data frames. To see what this looks like in the in the uh, layout view, you can change layout view here. But perhaps more handy is a small button at the bottom, which you immediately swap back. Okay, but um, looking at the data again, I don't like the blue color of uh, the land. For me, well, it it kind of blends in. You can't tell if it's land or not. So what you do is you right click on the, the box itself, the blue box itself, right click and I think well this seems like an appropriate color. There you are. And it's immediately changed to a, a light beige which I've selected. But the new data frame, well I don't think that's a very I don't think that's a very uh descriptive name, so I want to change that also. You can change that by going to Properties. Uh, there's several different tabs. Click the General tab. And instead of New Data Frame, you can uh, call it something like Area of Disappearance. Click OK. And you'll see that this has changed. And now, your map is complete using two data sets and this completes chapter four um, next week we'll be doing chapter five